This is ridiculous. Yes, we are. Seriously. We're rolling. Are we rolling? <laughs> please. Okay. I would like another. I would like another take, please. Just one more time. Roll sound. No, no sound is already rolling. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Action. No, don't say. What are you doing? Don't say action. Hmm. Well, Jay, it's been a it's been a heck of a day. We really have gone through a whole lot of stuff. Um, what are you talking about? This is the first question. <laughs> it, 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 it's haven't even talked it's about been, anything. It's been a long day for me. I remember us as kids. What got us into acting was being in theater class, and being in theater class and and seeing what we were capable of with it. Because otherwise, we would have had no idea, I don't think, as far as, you know, preparing lines and, and coming up with your own sketches and that kind of creative collaboration. That stuff just, it blew my mind, man. It's a blessing, man. It's been so much fun um, coming from theater class in high school and, you know, doing it as something that was just, like, so fresh and new to me. You know, coming from a musician's background, uh, getting into drama and acting and, and exploring those type of talents, I really was able to um, gain such a passion um, for acting, you know, just by being in drama class and learning and, you know, doing the things that we used to do, improvisation, you know what I mean, and um, just making up lines as we go, you know, just being, being in that creative spot and, and in that creative place and how we used to shoot short films, you know, and just do little things that we wanted to just see. Yeah. You know, we yeah. used to just shoot it and just see how it looked and laugh at it. And, you know, and I think that's a part of um, what an actor is all about. The most amazing actors that we look at and we watch, they're so smart and they're so um, in sync with who they are. You know, and I think that comes from the years of, you know, before when they started to now, and it takes experience, it takes that time, you know, some people just want to make it overnight, and it's not like that, you, to become an, a successful, amazing actor, you know, legendary, like the Denzels, and the Robert De Niro's, and, you know, the Daniel day Lewis's and all these people, Meryl yeah. Streep, yeah. you know, to become so great like that, it takes those years, because it takes experience, you know, and, um, I'm so grateful that we started off in drama class like we did, you yeah. know, and, yeah. and we really uh, were able to explore those parts of ourselves that we didn't even know we had in them because that's mm -hmm. what helped us take risk now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You we, know? we were so into it that we would skip other classes. Just to go there. Just to go there. That's yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. but that's the passion. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, when you're passionate about something, you know, it takes over you. It's like a kid that wants to be the next Kobe Bryant or the next LeBron James, you know, he's going to go to that park after sixth period, after basketball. He's going to stay with that ball in his hand as he's driving home because he just loves to feel it. He, he has so much passion for the game that he just loves to feel that ball in his hand. He loves to be able to take shots. So, you know, we... We used to just enjoy being around it. Yeah. You know, all the thespians that were in drama class, we loved to just watch them and, you know, learn from them and learn from, you know, our drama teacher and just, you know, be in the moment with it, man. And I, I think um, I think that's, that's so amazing that, you know, we were so passionate at, at such a young age because a lot of people want to be in the industry that we're in you know, all because of the fame or the money, and they forget about the passion. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who are very passionate about being an actor or an entertainer. Yeah, yeah, I see. Let me ask you a question. As an actor, let me ask you a question. How do you book a job? What is the key to successfully saying, this is a role I know I can book, I know that I'm perfect for this role. I need to guarantee that I book this role. What sets you apart from the other 10,000 people around the world that are going for the same role that you're going for? How do you book this role? Mm, no idea. No. <laughs> um, I think that if you establish your own characteristics that are so 
defined and so unlike any other, you know, like, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about like Al Pacino and like, you know, y you see these actors that they cannot be compared to anybody else. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, oh, Morgan Freeman, people, mm -hmm. you know, people who have their own dialect. They actually have, like, in, in, in a way, they have their own language type of a thing going on. I think that's really important. Um, and I think trying to find characteristics that are also important for that role in particular. Now, how hard is it to, I mean, because I know my story, I know how hard it, it took for me to break into the industry as far as getting that first initial role or the, you know, first agent to believe in me. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a very big catch-22 in, in this industry where, um, you know, you have to have an agent to get work. But then at the end of the day, how are you going to get an agent if you don't show some work? Right. And you don't show what you can do. Yeah. So how do you think as an aspiring actor and someone who has, you know, worked as an actor and also who has taken a break and been able to, you know, jump back into acting and, and be caught in that catch-22 where you don't have an agent or you do have an agent or you don't get enough work or you do get enough work, you know, like, how do you, how do you balance those two being, being an actor and a writer and, and someone that's trying to uh, initially find that niche where you belong mm -hmm. in, as an actor? Well, as far as writing goes, well, I guess acting and writing is the same because it's both something that you want to perfect and you never, ever want to reach a point where you say, okay, this is where I want to be. Yeah. Ever. You know, when it comes down to acting, there are so many different levels. It's an entire universe of emotions that some of which you'll never touch on, but you want to be able to reach getting there. Um, same thing with writing, you know. With, with writing, it's something that whether I was working or whether I was taking a break from acting, I was always, always writing. And mm -hmm. I'm not talking about writing in my mind. There's so many people out there who say, oh man, I got some ideas, I just, I want to do this, I want to do that. But it's not, it's not physical, it's not real. Yeah. You know, if you put it on paper and you really dedicate and take the time and practice and practice day in and day out until the, I mean, I've written for hours before till the words like don't even make sense anymore. And I got to yeah. just like, you know, just take a break for a while. Yeah. So when it comes down to that, I mean, constantly, constantly working on, on, on perfecting what you believe is your, is your best qualities. I'm glad you said that because that is where a lot of the perfection comes in is the work ethic. We know just from watching behind the scenes and, yeah, and yeah. looking at you know, different things about other actors and yeah. you know, true stories about other actors and hearing about it on set that, you know, these individuals are, you know, spending six months preparing for one role, yeah. you know, sometimes longer, you know, and, and people are putting their self physically through weight loss and, mm -hmm. you know, through mental, you know, blocks and, yeah. and, and, and mm -hmm. understanding drug problems to be able to create this own, like there's a lot of things that actors go through yeah. um, as far as, you know, that you need a work ethic to be able to accomplish. Yeah, absolutely. You can't prepare yourself for six months for a role to play Lincoln mm -hmm. if you don't have a work ethic. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the, the important thing. So I'm glad you said that because that's important. No matter whether you're in the industry or not, you should have that work ethic. That is the main thing that separates you from someone who's gonna make it versus someone who's not.